Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this video tutorial on the Onion Amiga and in this part we are going to be installing, configuring and using PHP including GPIO support on the Onion Amiga. Now this video tutorial is loosely in inverted commas based on the tutorial which you'll find in the tutorial section on the Onion site. So if you go into wiki and then tutorials there is a tutorial here which I actually wrote on using PHP and the Onion Amiga. But I am going to go and deviate slightly on this because I did run into a challenge around around the time zones and I'll cover the time zone issue, especially if you're going to be using the date command with PHP in a separate video tutorial because I couldn't find an answer anywhere on the internet and this fantastic chap called Manuel did pop up with the answer. So look for a second video tutorial linked to this one, which is especially important if you're going to be using date or time functions within your PHP projects. Now with that said, using and installing PHP on the Onion Amiga is as simple as copy and paste and you'll be able to follow me along throughout this video tutorial and if you can manage copy and paste then it's that simple. Now it is worth noting just before we start that the Onion console on your Onion Amiga is actually using a web server, it's called UHTTPD. So you don't need to install another web server of some form, maybe Node.js or Apache, for example, or Nginx or something like that. You already have a web server installed on your Onion Amiga and the files or the root directory is down in www. So if you log in maybe using Wins SCP or via the command line, all your files are stored down in the www folder. So it makes installing PHP a lot more simpler. Now you will need access to two things from this video tutorial. Number one is your Onion console and a web browser. Obviously you've been connected to that. So I tell you what, let's go and get ourselves logged in. Uh, just log in with root and whatever your password is. And the other thing which you'll need is a terminal window. And in a previous video tutorial, I showed you the three different ways which you can connect to your Onion Amiga. I'm using Putty for this example because it's my preferred application. Now, like I said, if you can manage copy and paste, you can do this video tutorial. It's really simple to install PHP. And later on in this video tutorial, we will be playing around with the GPOI pins on here, namely to change the LED color, but you could be turning on relays and lots of other things or anything which you've been connected to your Onion Amiga. And also just to get the creative juices going as well, don't think just because you've installed PHP, you have to stop there. Installing PHP or another language like Node.js or Python really does open up the possibilities to you. So for example, in fact you might even see it on the screen in a few minutes time, is that you may connect up your Onion Amiga to other online services. Maybe it's a tool like Pushbullet for example. So when someone walks past my front door, I have a PIR sensor on there connected up. And then when that pushes a message across uh, Mosquito or MQTT, I have a PHP script running in the background, which then updates the internet. I get a notification via a curl request, via push bullet, and then I get a notification on my phone, on my desktop, on the iPads. You could be updating fingerspeak.com, so recording temperatures and water measurements and anything. PHP and the Onion Amiga really does allow you to take your Onion Amiga from just being a little device on your desktop and connect it to the outside world. So anyway, I'm all excited about this. I hope you are too. Installing PHP is dead simple, so let's go and do this. Now, we should always start by updating our Onion Amiga. Now, if we don't run this command, then when we go to run a later command, it won't work, okay? So the first thing which we need to do is type in or paste in, by the way, you can follow us along with the tutorial off the wiki in the background, is to run opkg space update. So let's run that. That will take a few seconds to run. We see it's downloaded in the packages. Happy days. Right, that should have finished in just a few moments. Now, before we go on and install PHP, I just want to make the point that there's lots of different PHP packages available on your Onion Amiga. Now, to see that list, if you type in OPKG space underscore list, and then a pipe symbol, which is hiding over by your Windows key on your keyboard by the shift key, and then grep, G-R-E-P, space, P-H-P, and then press return. What this is actually doing is providing a list 
of available packages which have got PHP in their name. And you'll see that there's lots and lots of packages available. What we're going to be doing during this tutorial is just installing the basic ones and maybe one or two extra ones while we're at it. But if you do, maybe go to run a soap command or maybe mycrypt or to run curl, for example, and the library's not in there, don't panic. That little command, which we just ran a few moments ago, will list all the available PHP modules for you to use. Now, what we're after is the big install command. And like I said, I am deviating slightly from the actual tutorial on the Onion Amiga website. And what we're going for here is a one hit wonder. Okay, so we're gonna be installing Nano, which is a text editor. My preferred text editor is much, much more easier to use than V. You've then got PHP 5 hyphen CGI. You've also got PHP hyphen CLI. And that's a really cool one. That allows you to run PHP scripts off the command line on your Onion Amiga. So if you're gonna be using PHP to run continuously running scripts, you can use php5 hyphen cli oh and a little tip there for you is that if you try running php and then the script name and it doesn't work the actual command you need is php hyphen cli and then the command name ran into that one a couple of weeks back so i hope that helps you and then also for this tutorial we're going to be using git so we're going to be installing git and also git http so let's press return on that. That will take a few moments to come down. I'll fast forward this and I'll catch you in a few seconds. Excellent, that's just been finished, just like my cup of coffee. Now, before we continue, I did mention that the Onion Amiga already has its own web server on there called UHTTPD, but we need to tell it to actually process PHP files because if we don't tell it that PHP is available and it should pass those files, Fire through the PHP interpreter, then we will just end up downloading the file, which is no good to anybody. So to do that, we need to go and edit our UHTTP config file. Now to do that, again, it's simple as copy and paste, and all of these commands are gonna be available on the actual tutorial itself or underneath this video tutorial. So if you type in nano space forward slash etc forward slash config forward slash UHTTPD and press return. Now, we need to add an extra line and we need to add in a list interpreter. So where we need to add this in is at the bottom of the main section. Okay, so let's scroll down here. So the last option where we've got the UBUS prefix is that I've just been and copied this off the tutorial. Okay, I'm just gonna right click and shift insert. Let's go back to the home and move it across a couple of spaces. And we need to add that command because if we don't add that command, then UHTTPD doesn't know how to process those files and will just download them in your browser. So you end up with index.php being downloaded, which is not what you want. So with those changes made, we're gonna press Control X on our keyboard. We're gonna then press Y and then press Return. Excellent, that's the file updated. Now we need to restart UHTTPD, which is really simple. Again, you can copy these commands off the tutorial, or if you type in forward slash etc forward slash init.d forward slash UHTTPD space restart, and then press return on your keyboard. Excellent, that's PHP installed. We also installed Nano and Git as well, and also the command line version of PHP, and we told UHTTPD to actually process PHP files. Now, we need to go and test and make sure this works. Now, to do this, or the simplest way for us to do this is to create a new folder for PHP, then move into that folder, and then create a file called index.php, and then just pop a little bit of PHP in there. That's a lot of PHP. Let's just go and do this. So first thing we're gonna do is gonna make a folder for PHP. Then we're gonna to navigate to that folder, which was www forward slash PHP. Excellent, so we're now in that folder. Now we're gonna create a new file. So let's call this index.php and press return. So that was nano space index.php. Let's create a very simple PHP file and let's echo out. Howdy! And semicolon on the end. Now to save that file, control X, Y, enter. Now I hope you see why I like Nano. It's a lot more user friendly. Now let's go to our web browser and see if that works. So 
You will note that I'm already connected to my Onion Amiga. Now, just to make sure, I'm just gonna refresh that page. Make sure that you're actually connected to your Onion Amiga in your web browser. If you're not, you'll want to connect via Wi-Fi and make sure you're connected there. Now, the address for this is along the top. So where it says 192.168.3.1, we created a new folder called PHP and we created a file called index.php. Press return. Ah, don't panic if you see this message is that number one, I've typed it wrong. <laughs> so we need full stop.php. Excellent, that's worked. But even if you did type the correct URL, so php forward slash index.php, and you didn't see howdy or whatever message you typed in between those two quotes, don't panic. You would just need to run one extra command in your terminal, which is chmod hyphen R, which means recursive, 755, which is the file permissions, and then on the www.php folder. Ran into that once before, so if you didn't get this to run, just run that extra command and it will give full permissions to the files which you've created within the PHP directory. Okay, so let's just quickly recap where we are. We saw that there was a whole raft of PHP modules available to us. We installed Nano, we installed PHP 5, the CGI version, I hasten to add. We also installed the CLI version. Oh, let me just pause a moment to show you. Normally, on a full-blown Linux operating system, to run PHP file off the command line is that you would type in PHP, and then the file name, you press return, and then, ah, what's going wrong? PHP not found, that's not right. That scared me to begin with until I did my research, and you actually need to type PHP hyphen CLI and then the file name and howdy. We didn't come out very well on there, but there is a howdy on the left hand side. And that's how you execute PHP files from the command line interface. And if you want to check which version you want, type in PHP hyphen V and that won't work because that doesn't work off the command line. So you'll need to put some like PHP info function in your file and it'll tell you all the details. So Let's step this up a gear. And the example which I'm gonna be using is from one of the community created a mini little project in PHP just to show the GPI pins being turned on and off and just to get you up to speed with using or accessing the GPIO pins or the LED on your expansion board using PHP. So let's go and do this. It's dead simple to do. Like I said, if you can manage copy and paste, you can do this. Now the first thing which we're gonna do, we're just gonna doubly make sure we're in the PHP folder. So we're gonna type in cd space forward slash www dot forward slash php forward slash. Make sure we're in the PHP folder, which we are. Next one we're gonna go and do is go and clone a repository off GitHub. Okay, now rather than me reading this out, just check the tutorial or underneath this video for the commands which you want. So we git clone, and then we're gonna clone the repository from GitHub. Now this will take a few seconds, which has already been done. Excellent. Now let's just go and have a look at what's actually been and happened. So we need to see what files and folders we got in there. So we've got a folder called PHP Onion. So let's change in there. So PHP underscore Onion. Oh, and by the way, I just pressed tab on my keyboard. It populates the rest of the line for you. Let's have a look what else we got in there. And there's two PHP files, one called how to use.php and another file called onion amiga.php. So let's go and have a look at the how to use one. Okay, so it's PHP underscore onion. So let's go back to our web browser. Okay, and we want to type in PHP underscore onion. And then I need to get the capitalization right on this. How? capital T-O, capital U-S-E dot P-H-P. <gasps> Aha, now, this is very cool. And again, we'll get the webcam working for this. And I'll move the webcam up here so you can see me moving this live at the same time. So on the screen, I'm gonna click, again, I can't remember which buttons these are, so I'm learning at the same time. So let's press on, that didn't do anything. Let's choose blink, let's choose read. Oh, the value is now zero, let's turn it on and read. Oh, the value is now one. Okay, let's do the RGB LED. Oh, did we see that? Can you see it strobing? Do you see it just strobe then between the different colors? Excellent, you can see it changing through the different colors. So I'll tell you what, let's go and have a look at this file and see what's going on. So let's just jump back to our console 
and it was the how to use, wasn't it? So let's go and use that little editor called Nano. So I'm gonna type in Nano and then HO, and then I'm not gonna type the rest of it. I'm just gonna press tab on my keyboard and then press enter. So let's have a look here. So at the top, it's saying require once, and then we've got the onion amiga.php. So I'm guessing that's where we've got a collection of functions available to us. So when it's initialized, we're gonna turn off the LED. So we're using that command. And then we've got a collection of different logic going on here. And then, oh, look at the commands which we've got here. So we've got the ability to set the GPIO direction using that command. We're using the onion object and then set GPIO direction, then the pin, and then when it's in or out. We've also got the ability to read the GPIO pin as well. So read GPIO and then the pin number. We've got the ability to change the pulse width modulation for that pin, okay? So that's the pin number and then the two values which you need to set. We've also got the option to change the colors as well. So maybe, should we go and tweak this? It was changing the colors, so let's go and change the colors. Let's go and change this one to red and then let's go and change this to green. So zero, zero, red, green, blue. In fact, hey, let's use blue. Blue is a much nicer color on an LED. And also down on there, we've got the ability to initiate a relay. We've got the ability to write to a relay. And by the way, also on my desktop, I do have a relay here. We could hook that up and turn the relays on and off using PHP. Again, I think your creative juices are probably running quite far, quite quickly now. What you can do with the Onion Amiga. And of course, you maybe include curl like this, like we mentioned with push bullet, cross-platform notifications, maybe thing speak, for example, for data login. Whatever you could do in PHP and connect with the internet via your Onion Amiga, it's that interaction between the offline world and the online world crazy and then further down the page we've got a collection of other details anyway we've made some changes we should see that led go red and then blue so let's go and save those so control x y and enter and let's go back to our site and reload so i've put that up to the webcam and if i click on rgb led let's do that again it's blinking and it's just saying blue at the moment. But at least that gives you proof of concept. It's very, very easy for you to set up PHP on your Onion Amiga. Now, where to go from here? In fact, let me just bring the tutorial up on the page for you. And let's just scroll down the bottom. The world really is your oyster from this one. But what I would suggest you do is go and have a look around the settings and the PHP file can be edited and just use the command nano space forward slash etc forward slash php dot any in the next video tutorial i strongly suspect you're going to be wanting to use time and date commands and those don't actually work out of the box with php with the onion amiga so i'll be showing you how to resolve that and set up your onion amiga so that you can use time and date commands with php on your onion amiga so for myself matt i sincerely hope that you found this video tutorial helpful like the other video tutorials they are not fast paced they are meant to be learner paced they're meant to be matte and new proof so with that said for myself matt cheerios